After the Honor 50, Honor is now releasing its second premium mid-range device, the Honor 70. I have both here in my hands and I want to guide you through the changes from the Honor 50 to the Honor 70. So let's get started. So let's check both devices out and uh, first of all we start with the screen because it will get dirty anyway <laughs> in a few seconds probably. So we have uh, very interesting screens. OLED screens both have a 120Hz refresh rate but the Honor 50s is a bit smaller. I think one, uh, 0.1 inch size smaller so 6.6 .6 inch and this is 6.6 .6 7 or 6.7 .7 inch something like this. But you can see here from the, the yeah from the side you don't notice the difference it's just like almost the same uh, we, what you can see here is the camera cut out definitely is smaller on the honor 70 the honor 50 still has a larger cutout both have like a screen protector that comes pre-installed apparently uh, when it comes uh, to the device and its surroundings let's check the back uh, the honor 50 comes in this like it's a chinese only model in this glorious kind of uh, color that reminds me of a snowflake. I think it's also called snowflake or something like this. And this is kind of a grayish greenish tint. I think it's more of a grayish kind of, uh, yeah, more sophisticated, more business-like uh, uh, design. But you can see here it is uh, also, yeah, not so, so much clean anymore. So it has some fingerprints here that it can attract this one as well, but you have to have the right light to see it. Otherwise you don't see it. But if I turn my, uh, device around you can see yeah fingerprint smudges on the display so yeah that's the protection foil for you both have fingerprint readers as you can see here both are roughly at the same time unlocking the device both have almost the same specs when it comes to the processor we have a snapdragon 778g plus on the honor 70 and the honor 50 has a snapdragon 778g so the normal version which is just like i think this one here 400 megahertz more at top speed um yeah frequency when it comes to the side we have both have the same kind of layout for the uh, volume rocker and the power button as you can see here not much of a difference the bottom could be also not more identical i would say so we have the usb type c we have the microphone we have the uh, dual nano sim slot that can also do 5g which is nice and uh, then on the top we have one microphone as it seems more on the Honor 50 and one less here on the Honor 70. Sadly the Honor 70 uh, no other speaker here just the bottom firing speaker just like on the Honor 50. Um, then when it comes to the back of course we have to talk about the camera and I made a dedicated camera video where I'll compare them more like video and photography but what you have to know, the most important things are the main camera here on the Honor 50 is 108 megapixels and it has an 8 megapixel ultra wide as well as 2 megapixel macro and depth sensor and a flash. And this one here has the um, main 54 megapixel sensor. It's a very large sensor, a bit larger than the 108 megapixel here. And then we have a 50 megapixel ultra wide as well as a 2 megapixel depth sensor. On the front both feature a 32 megapixel selfie cam. I could be wrong but I think it is the same camera, it's just the cutout that changed. In terms of software both run the Magic UI 6, 6.1 here on the Honor 70 and I think 6.0 still on the Honor 50. And let's check it out, let's go to system updates here and uh, software updates we can check the newest version yeah you can see here this is version 6.10106 and this is version 6.00137 could be that you have newer versions already um, is this like a bit of bluer and this a bit more reddish kind of color in terms of display i think they are using almost the same display uh, at least I didn't have any issues and I think this is more reddish because I tuned it this way So that's the only difference why you can see it here right now if you might have noticed it Also the camera bump you can see when I'm typing here both a bit wobbly because yeah the camera bump here the camera is of course a bit bigger the bump here on the uh, Honor 70 the Honor 50 has it a bit smaller 
uh, just because we have bigger, larger sensors here on the Honor 70. When it comes to the user interface, nothing much has changed, but there is one mode more. If you go to video and you go to video here, you can see we have now the close-up video mode here on the Honor 70, which is a pretty cool feature. And I showed it uh, to you already. If you're interested in this, you can check out my first impressions and unboxing video of the Honor 70, where I will show you where I showed you this in uh, much more detail. The ability to record 4K 30 frames per seconds on all lenses. So let me just go into the camera and you can see here video 4K 30. I only have the one time and two time crop zoom. Here I can also go to the ultra wide angle and I can record 4K 30 with the ultra wide angle, which is a nice little feature as uh, well. When it comes to the audio quality, is there a difference? Let's listen. So first the Honor 50. And now the Honor 70. So what do you think about those playing music? I think they sound pretty much the same, maybe slightly a bit of more bass on the Honor 70 and it's a little bit brighter on the Honor 50, but this is a nuance where I would just say maybe they're even using the same kind of loudspeaker at the bottom and uh, yeah, it's just a fraction of different kind of feeling in the hand or maybe the material you used and vibrating in a different way that you can hear a difference. Otherwise, in terms of loudness, it's almost the same. And it's a bit of disappointment on the Honor 70 because it's not a real improvement from the Honor 50. There's another slight difference that might impact your everyday usage and this is the battery. So we have a larger battery on the Honor 70 with 4800 milliampere hours and I think we have only 4300 milliampere hours on the Honor 50. Uh, so here are the yeah, differences, are they big? There are a few hours, you can see it already here that we have 18 hours left with 77% battery and we have 21 hours left here with 63% battery. So we have like a little bit of longer battery life that can be up to one or two hours, um, sometimes even three hours as you can see here roughly. Uh, there's the difference. This is realistic on both, so you get the better battery life on the Honor 70, which is a clear improvement because you can notice that the battery is holding up a bit longer. Let's talk about benchmarks because, yeah, how can I measure the speed? Otherwise, both run very, very fluently, so I cannot show you much of a difference. You can see opening times of the applications are almost also the same, no difference there. And you can see it also in the score, that the score is slightly higher on the Honor 70 because of the, yeah, it's a little bit higher uh, clocked CPU, the Snapdragon 778G+. Plus maybe a little bit more optimized version here, but you can see that the scores are very, very similar. So we have single score of 763 on the Honor 50 and 800 on the Honor 70, 2692 on the uh, Honor 50 and 2856. Actually, when I go back here and take a look at the history of the Honor 50 with Android 11, so before Magic UI 6, I already had already uh, some values that are a bit higher, as you can see here, this one taken with Android 11 still um, had 778 as single score and uh, 2804 as multi-score. So it could be that you also with your Honor 50 have a little bit more. Also keep in mind this is the Chinese variant and it could be that there are slight difference in the global version of the Honor 50. So you can see they're very, very close in speed and performance, but you don't notice much of a difference when switching from the Honor 50 to the Honor 70. Only important for critical games, for example, to have like two, three, four FPS, a little bit more 
in the game then grab the honor 70 otherwise the honor 50 has almost the same kind of speed as the honor 70. So what is the conclusion now if you already own an honor 50 there's not really a reason to upgrade to an Honor 70. I think the Honor 70 is more for people who want to start new in the Honor world, have the money and want to have the better camera system because definitely you get the better camera system on the Honor 70 in comparison to the Honor 50. You get a little bit better battery life for sure as well and also the screen is a bit, little bit bigger. So if you like it a little bit bigger, on all honesty, yeah, you don't really feel the difference between them both. So if you already own an Honor 50, maybe because of the cameras, you might want to take a look at the upgrade, but I don't see it. The performance is roughly the same. The battery life is a bit better on the Honor 70. The screen is the same. The loudspeaker is the same. The quality of the front facing camera is almost the same and everything else, lightweight and uh, the good support, the software is almost the same. There are slight differences in terms of camera here on the Honor 70, but uh, in reality you get the same Magic UI 6 on both. So there's no reason to upgrade from an Honor 50, but if you want to start new, then definitely the Honor 70 is the better uh, device for sure, even though you have to take a look at prices, because I think the Honor 50, if you can get it cheaper then it makes sense to also get this one here but if you want a better camera system slightly better battery life then get the honor 70. what do you think about both those devices is this upgrade from honor 50 to honor 70 really an upgrade evolutionary upgrade or is it more like uh, selling the same thing in a different housing uh, write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have some questions still, st stuff that I have to check between those both, uh, write it down as well. And that's everything for this video. Until the next time. Bye.